My story goes something like this. I know I was at a fraternity house and there was an empty room where a band was playing and I saw feet sticking out from under the stage. And that immediately was not right. All the signs I feel like were there that he had like a problem drinking, like probably depressed, probably anxiety, and he was just kind of medicating with alcohol. Friends that might think that they're not drunk and that they can totally drive, even though, you know, uh, a lot of times it's quite obvious that it's not the right time or the place for them to be driving around campus. And my best friend at the time had really been struggling with her mental health. Um, she had told me two weeks prior to this event that she had been hurting herself. I just saw like I, I just saw like four dudes and one guy walking away and they're all just like yelling at each other. And I just didn't really know where it was coming from. And um, after that he was like, because you're black. And when one of my good friends was struggling through an eating disorder. One of my uh, friend um, like gets sexually assaulted and and I and I and I feel like sometimes I blame myself for that being that you kind of prevented because she's a really close friend of mine. And why did you intervene? Um, was it difficult? And did you have support? Um, why I intervened? Well, I guess, like I said, no one else was doing anything. Um, you become kind of aware, like, every, well, it's like the bystander effect. Like, you assume someone else is going to, and then no one does, and then there's just this kid bopping around, being ridiculous, and kind of, I would be embarrassed if that was me. I would look, that has been me. And it's great when someone is like, hey, you need to just go home and takes care of you and make sure that doesn't happen. Swanee, we say we look out for each other, and it's often that we do, but deciding whether or not to act is a choice we sometimes fail to make. Everyone has a role to play, what's yours? We ask Swanee students, faculty, and staff to reflect on a time when they didn't look away. Here's what some of them said. Um, my husband and I were coming home from Ivy Wild and um, headed um, towards Texas Avenue on University. And I looked on the sidewalk and I saw a woman by herself, um, really obviously impaired, um, walking very unsteadily on the sidewalk and kind of stumbling on and off the sidewalk. So um, <clears throat> I pulled over and realized when I stopped that she was actually a former student of mine, that she'd been in a class with me um, as a freshman. And so, I reintroduced myself to her and I said, you know, why don't you let us give you a lift to your dorm? And um, she pretty readily accepted the offer and um, hopped in and we just gave her a lift to where she lived. It was last year, second semester, um, and a friend and I had just walked into a fraternity on campus. And as soon as we walked in, we were kind of like taking the lay of the land, um, seeing where our friends were seeing who was dancing, that sort of thing. And we noticed that there was a guy who had a girl up against the wall and they were dancing together. And he and I, my friend and I, both registered um, that his belt buckle was undone. He had wine stains on his shirt and his jacket was like half off on one shoulder. And it was at that point that my friend and I, without even really saying anything, walked up to the guy and tapped him on the shoulder. And we said something along the lines of, um, put your clothes back on and go do something else. We asked others too. As it turns out, there are a lot of active bystanders on campus and they had some pretty great advice. Um, I would say just to never be intimidated by the situation and um, you know if you think and you know in, in your mind that something shouldn't be happening if someone shouldn't be driving or you know this goes for any situations uh, that you know it's never a bad time to, to try and intervene There's, it never hurts you know the one thing that I always I think first um, like the advice you give to someone to intervene is first um, be confident, um, first of all. Like I think having having a sense of confidence um, can alleviate a lot of um, awkwardness when you come to intervening because it might, I think most people don't intervene because they, they might think it's too awkward and it's probably none of the business, but anything that happened on campus affect us no matter 
whether we think that it's none of our business or whether we think it's our business. It's going to happen. Put yourself in the situation and decide how you would want to be treated. Because it is, it can be embarrassing, it can be a lot of things, but no one wants you to just not do anything. Help me if I'm doing something (laughs) awful. I won't get mad at you, but I guess just when you're, when you are intervening. I would say that um, you should follow your gut. should sort of trust your own instincts. The thing that really kind of got my attention was was that she was by herself. And we can do a lot just by being present. Um, At that moment, I really had to look myself in in the mirror and be like, Kirk, how how should you have responded to this thing? So if it didn't happen to you already, just know that it can and prepare yourself for that moment. So if that moment so happens to come, you know exactly what to say. You know exactly how to constructively uh, not attack but handle the situation so um, I would just say if you truly love this campus you would love it enough to change it and a lot of the times if I would see any of my friends especially my female friends dancing with someone who I'd never seen them with before I would just kind of look at them and be like you okay and most of the times They'd be like, yeah, this is awesome. And, <laughs> and occasionally they would be like, oh, and kind of reach out their hand and I'll grab their hand and we would dance. And then that would just be an easy way to end, um, end their time with that other person. I think my freshman year, my friends and I would like randomly shoot each other a text. So it's not like you're going face to face or like awkwardly interrupting someone, just kind of being like, hey, are you okay really quick? And I think that that sometimes is also nice, like, Maybe I didn't really know the person, but I did have their number. And just to like quickly be like, what's up? Are you okay? Are you fine going there? Or are you too drunk? For me in that, Um, it's almost assuming the worst in another person. Um, But I've always found that it's, uh, it's easier to have that slight uncomfortable moment on the front end rather than deal with the repercussions afterwards, which could end up being a lot more serious. 100%. 100%. I think Swanee, just like colleges across our country, uh, are not perfect by any means. There's a lot of issues in terms of sexual misconduct, things that are happening between men and women, college age, on college campuses. Um, and that makes the intervention even harder. You know, it, it's easy to, like my example, walk across someone who's drunk and say, this person needs to go to the hospital. It's a lot harder to be um, working with two separate people who maybe one person's um, encroaching on somebody else's personal space when they shouldn't be. That makes it a lot harder. Um, At the end of the day, um, no matter what happens, it's your reputation on the line. If you're drunk, if you're sober, the things you do, you know, that's what people associate with you. So just remember who you are. I took it upon myself to help and support her but eating disorders I found out um, are very toxic Um, so the more I talked about it with her the more I felt like it was taking a toll on me so if I were to do it over again um, I would definitely seek more professional help or more peer support Um, what would have happened if I had taken the easy way and just you know called a day said see you see you later and we parted ways at McClurg Every time that I have kind of disregarded help from my friends, I've always ended up regretting it. Um, Because these situations don't happen too often, but, you know, they do happen, um, and it's just not acceptable. So listen to your friends. Let's look out for each other. Stand up, Swanee, because it's on us.